The Justice League is one of the most powerful superhero teams of all time. I mean, of a roster consisting of Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman, you know that's gotta be true. But pretty much each hero in the Justice League has gained some extraordinary power-ups and amps throughout the years. So today, we're gonna rank all those power-ups from weakest to strongest. So let's get to it. Aquaman hasn't had many power-ups throughout the years, but if we're going to look at one for this list, well, it might have to be the Dweller in Darkness. It was a weird moment for Aquaman, that's for sure. And it basically goes where he was mutated into a sea monster by making a bargain with a bunch of ancient sea gods, in exchange for giving him a seemingly infinite amount of ancient magic. He became one with water itself, and all life living in it. No longer needing to have a physical body, Aquaman was one with the oceans, meaning that now he could control the entire ocean at will, all water on the planet, and along with that, could actually drain all the water from the planet and all life along with it. Plastic Man is in an interesting place on this list, because he really has never had a true power-up before. It's more just Plastic Man is a whole different beast if he actually lived up to his potential. I mean, for starters, he's immortal. Plastic Man survived for thousands of years as just crumbs on the bottom of the ocean, only to come back and keep on going. He was one of the only members of the Justice League who could stand up to Furnace, an evil version of Martian Manhunter who had just pretty much soloed the Justice League. And within the Injustice universe, well, Plastic Man was like the only character that Superman either respected or was actually scared of. Plastic Man has no perceivable limit. He's basically infinite potential. He's really capable of whatever the writer wants him to be. Cyborg is a lot like Plastic Man. Insane potential that's constantly held in check by the character himself but we actually got to see those limits removed when the GRID took over. GRID's a sentient evil computer virus living inside of cyborg systems. When it came out, well, within just a few hours, GRID was able to control every power system, communication system, and military in the entire world. If that's not true power, well then I don't know what is. Firestorm is, again, a lot like Plastic Man, insane potential, and a whole different animal if he actually lives up to it. His power is pretty much unlimited molecular manipulation. He can take anything and transform it into something else. The holdup, though, is that Firestorm has to understand the molecular composition of everything in order to make it happen. And because Firestorm is kind of a jock, well, the joke is that his powers rely on scientific knowledge. But if Firestorm got to actually master his abilities, or was the scientific genius that he needs to be in order to make it work, well, then he can literally do anything that he wants. He'd be a threat on par with Superman himself. Just Firestorm has never really been smart enough to make it happen. Martian Manhunter is an obvious one for this list. That's Furnace. 20,000 years ago, Mars was inhabited by a violent race obsessed with fire called the Burning. It got so bad that the Guardians of the Universe actually got scared of them and felt like they had to intervene, splitting the Burning into two different races, the Green Martians and White Martians and making them all afraid of fire. Well, Martian Manhunter accidentally unlocked this genetic memory, which overrided the Guardian's programming, and unleashed Furnace. He's got all the same powers as Martian Manhunter, except even more powerful and even more ruthless. He was able to easily defeat the Justice League several times over, fighting them with his super strength, telepathy, and the whole assortment of Manhunter's other powers. He's insanely powerful. Of course, there's also the idea that Martian Manhunter 1 million is more powerful than Furnace here, 
So our Martian Manhunter actually managed to beat Darkseid, then became one with the planet Mars, essentially becoming a living planet. Kyle Rayner's already one of the most powerful Green Lanterns out there. While he's been the host of Parallax and Ion, he was probably at his best when he was a White Lantern. He can control every emotion on the emotional spectrum, meaning he's literally every single lantern all wrapped up in one. And because White Lanterns are able to manipulate energy empowered by life itself, well, it means that Kyle's constructs were pretty much backed up by the entire universe itself. Oh yeah, and on top of that, he can self-heal, resurrect the dead, and manipulate reality. So he's basically space Jesus. He's plenty powerful. Now, there's an argument for Batman that his most powerful form out there is the Darkest Knight, where he fought Perpetua, the mother of the Monitor and the Anti-Monitor. But that was the Batman who laughs, and I really don't think that counts for this list. Instead, Batman's most powerful form is going to be the final Batsuit. You could make an argument that it should be Hellbat, but even for as powerful as Hellbat is, it's still got to be the final Batsuit. During a trip to the sixth dimension, the Justice League were shown a vision of the future and what would be. In the future, well, Batman created a chair called the Sunbox, and then he built an armor around the Sunbox that became the final Batsuit. The suit was able to change a person's heart cell by cell, basically meaning that it could completely rewrite a person's cells and force them to do whatever Batman wanted. As if that wasn't enough, it's also more than powerful enough to fight against most of the Justice League at once, even true heavy hitters like Wonder Woman and Martian Manhunter. Captain Atom is a lot like Plastic Man in Firestorm. His potential is absolutely insane. He's got all sorts of powers, primarily unlimited atomic manipulation. And with that, well, he's got the power to create universes and then destroy them all over. He's actually straight up beaten Firestorm before. He's been able to manipulate the speed force with the Flash. He can do literally whatever he wants. Dr. Manhattan was actually based on this guy. And when Manhattan showed up in the DC universe, well, Captain Adam was the only guy who was even able to briefly injure him. Dr. Fate is already wildly powerful himself, but it's safe to say that he got even more powerful when he combined with Dr. Strange, all within the body of Charles Xavier. So the magical power of Dr. Fate, the magical power of Dr. Strange, in the telepathic mind of Professor X. Dr. Fate can stand up to the Spectre. Dr. Strange can stand up to the Living Tribunal. So all that combined into one, and that's not power and insane potential, well then I don't know what is. Zatanna is one of the most powerful magical beings in DC. And while she's usually using magic with order, she became even more scary and powerful when she ascended to be a Lord of Chaos. She had the power to rip the universe in half and break every law of magic that had been written. And I mean that literally. Not only was she able to best Dr. Fate and Lord of Order Naboo, but she could straight up manipulate and break the fourth wall itself. Crazy powerful. There was a time where a lot of the heroes of Earth bonded with different new gods and became gods themselves, with the Flash bonding with the Black Racer and becoming the God of Death. But while that might not sound that impressive, he was able to one-shot Darkseid. He's Death combined with the Speed Force and the Anti-Life Equation, bringing Death at the speed of infinity. So yeah, I would say that's pretty powerful. Shazam himself is already incredibly mighty. He's got the power of six gods, or one of those gods being Zeus himself. But during the Dark Side Wars, well, Shazam subbed out his old gods for some new ones, becoming God of Gods Shazam, with the strength of Siva, while the strength of Hercules is nothing compared to his strength now. And Shazam was already able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe 
with Superman. He's actually got the magical power of the wizard himself now, one of the most powerful beings in the universe, and all this is backed up by Yuga Khan, Darkseid's father, with the infinite power of the source behind it. So yeah, Shazam got a pretty massive upgrade here. After finding out that Coast City was destroyed by Cyborg Superman, Hal Jordan went absolutely crazy with grief. Green Lantern actually tried to recreate Coast City until his ring ran out of battery, and he was reprimanded by a Guardian. Only this caused him to snap even more, killing every Green Lantern he could until he actually entered the main power battery on Oa, becoming Parallax. He could easily trash the Justice League. He beat pretty much the entire Green Lantern Corps. Parallax was even able to defeat the Spectre, leaving the Spectre afraid of him. Wally West is already the most powerful Flash out there, but he got even more powerful when he sat in the Mobius chair and gained some of the power of Dr. Manhattan. He actually merged with a part of Manhattan himself, since Dr. Manhattan had actually messed with the Mobius chair, and now Wally has the power of literal omniscience that comes from the chair, he's got access to the same connective energy that Manhattan has, and has become a cosmic universal being. Wally was even able to completely erase a dark matter universe, replacing it with one filled of new planets and galaxies. There's an argument that Wonder Woman's most powerful form is Witching Hour Wonder Woman, literally more powerful than every god and magical being out there. But you can also say that it's anti-crisis energy Wonder Woman, someone who can fight on par with the Darkest Knight and is right up there for Petua, the being that created the universe and the mother of both the Monitor and the Anti-Monitor. Either way, Wonder Woman definitely has some of the greatest power-ups we've ever seen. But number one has to go to Superman. And while you could say it's Superman Prime 1 million or Strange Visitor Superman, I think it's really got to be Cosmic Armor Superman. A doomsday machine engineered and created by the monitors in order to defend against the ultimate evil. This version of Superman is able to instantly adapt to counter any future threat. It's literally a suit of armor designed to protect all of DC Comics against the ultimate enemy. He's literally the embodiment of plot armor or a plot device. He can manipulate and interact with the comic book and reader, understanding that he's fictional, but also understanding the power that that gives him. He's the most powerful power up ever. He's gotta be number one on this list. But what do y'all think? Sound off in the comments down below. I know you're gonna have thoughts and feelings on this one for sure. Maybe you stuck around this long and made it to the end of the video. That's amazing. Thank you so much for watching and for supporting us. And if you wanna go subscribe, well go subscribe. You're gonna see more videos like this one every single week. I'll see y'all then. I'll see y'all next time.